It's easy to overlook the complexities of football. After all, some teams has a hole. just make it look easy. And the opening touchdown. When you break it down, though, the game is a little more complicated. It really is, like putting a little puzzle together. Interesting choice of words for Rice redshirt freshman Calvin Anderson. Three yards on the, way. the left tackle has found a home on the Owls offensive line, and he knows a thing or two about solving puzzles. I am a fun guy who likes to play football and solve Rubik's Cube. <laughs> That's right. This six foot five, 260 pound offensive tackle has mastered the world's best selling toy. Yeah, it's really nerdy. I know it is. 26 miniature pieces make up the Rubik's Cube. There are 43 quintillion ways to solve it. The world record is 5.25 seconds. Calvin's not far behind. 13 or 14 seconds. It's a hobby that he picked up back in the seventh grade. I had a friend who I would have at the time probably considered a nerd. There was one day I just, I couldn't stand it anymore because I was always watching him do it and I was like, I need to learn how to do this. The first couple of times were predictably frustrating, but Calvin got better and faster. The finger movement is, it was probably the hardest thing to develop and took the longest amount of time. The speed is what makes this skill so impressive. I mean, there's like fast twitch muscles that I probably don't even know exist that I've developed just by doing it all the time. I can't tell you how many hours I've probably put in the, you know, messing with these things. He has 17 different varieties of the cube in his dorm room and he can solve them all. All right, Calvin. Calvin's teammates definitely haven't made it easy for him. And I solved it by my back and everybody flipped out. <laughs> for him, the cube has become a form of therapy. He tries to complete it at least 20 to 40 times before each game. I can clear my mind when I do this. But unlike his workings of the cube, where he knows the end result, now they give it inside to Zach Wright. football presents unpredictability. Uh oh, that's Calvin Anderson, their left tackle, where he clearly had the back of his legs rolled up. Oh. Calvin left this past game with an injury, but don't worry, it was just a bruise. After all, what's a puzzle without one of its key pieces? The Rubik's Cube has kind of given me my identity on the team. People just kind of know, like, okay, yeah, he's, he's got his cube, or yeah, you know, he's, he's nerdy. I am definitely in that category, and I, I embrace it, though. At Rice University, Daniel Gotera, KHOU, 11 Sports Extra.